New anti-Islamic ads will soon be appearing here in New York City. They're already attracting a lot of criticism. The group behind the ad says that they describe the threat of jihad in America. Roxana Sabiri has more. Roxana. David, the ads will go up on 100 buses here in New York City starting Monday. City leaders and Muslim groups say the ads are hateful and could incite violence against American Muslims when hate crimes are already on the rise. Hitler sitting with a Muslim leader. Just one of six ads that millions of New Yorkers will see next week. The group behind the ads, the American Freedom Defense Initiative, says the campaign tells truths about Islam. But Muslim American organizations say it's full of lies. These sorts of advertisements are, are misinformation that tries to poison the mind of the public in order to get you to hate Muslims. Reports of hate crimes against Muslims in New York are up this year. There have been 14 since just July, twice as many as all of last year. Muslim leaders say one reason is ISIL's recent beheadings of American journalists James Foley and Stephen Sotloff. The director of the Arab American Association of New York says a man in Brooklyn threw a trash can at her earlier this month. He wanted to uh, cut my effing head off to see how my people would feel about it and continue to say some anti-Arab, anti-Muslim slurs. And I'm worried that these ads could potentially incite uh, more violence and hate crimes against Muslims and those perceived to be Muslim. Similar posters have gone up in recent years in Washington, D.C., Boston, and New York City. Pamela Geller is the blogger behind the ads. She has said they're supposed to be educational. In no way was this meant to be an anti-Islam campaign. It is a pro-freedom campaign. This time, Geller's budget is bigger, reportedly $100,000. And the campaign will be broader, with posters plastered on 100 New York City buses, two subway entrances. One new ad takes aim at the Palestinian group Hamas, designated by the U.S. as a terrorist organization, and likens it to CARE, a group advocating Muslim American rights. There's no correlation. She's trying to create hatred towards anything that defends Muslims in America, even if it defends their constitutional and civil liberties. Politicians in New York have denounced the campaign, but the city's mass transit authority says it can't do much about the so-called viewpoint ads, other than require disclaimers saying they don't represent the authority's views. A spokesman told Al Jazeera, we review every viewpoint ad under the standards, but a series of court rulings have made clear that our hands are largely tied. We believe that Ms. Geller has the right uh, to post these ads, but we also have a right to call her out and, and call her a bigot and a, a, a hateful person who uh, uses propaganda to incite violence and hatred against American Muslims. The Transit Authority did reject one ad that referred to Muslims killing Jews, saying it could incite violence. Geller is now suing the MTA. And David Geller is a writer who gained prominence four years ago when she spoke out against what she calls the Ground Zero Mega Mosque. We reached out to her but did not get a response. Mm. All right, Roxana, thank you very much. Appreciate it.